This video is about creating tabs. When you have many assignments that you are given the tab values that you need to use when you set up text. And if you are given the tab values, the easiest way to make the tabs is, and I'm going to repeat what I have here, the easiest way to make the tabs is to use the launcher. So I'm going to go into the launcher here and paragraphs launcher into the tabs button this shows up here okay so if i said to make a tab at one inch you would first you can see the insertion point blinking there just type the number one then set the type in this case i want a left tab and i do not want a leader so i've just worked from the top to the bottom. Do not put the numbers over here. Then set the tab. Next I'm going to make a center tab and I'm going to make it at the three inch mark. You can see that this number it's blue. That says type here right now. Don't click anywhere. Don't uh, do any unnecessary other steps. Just type the three. This time it's going to be a center tab and it will not have, actually we're going to have a leader, a number two leader, which means that this tab sitting at the three inch mark on the ruler will have a leader leading up to the three inch tab. And now I'm going to set it. And you can see that it's now sitting here. I'm going to make another one. I'm going to make this at five inches. It's blue up there in the number box. Just um, press the number five. Set which type it is. It's a, a right aligned tab. And let me look. I This next one used a dash leader, which instead of a dot leader. So that's number three and then set it and I'm going to make another one I'm not sure where I put it 5.5 .5 maybe 5.5 .5. you type it it's going to be decimal I won't put a meter for this one and I will set it and I'm going to put one last one so you can see this is blue it's waiting for me to type six point to five it's going to be a bar tab and you can see a bar tab cannot have a leader line I'm going to set it and now all of these are created if I needed to change something I could go through here and check number one is a left leader no or sorry a left tab with no leader line a three inch stop tab is a center tab with a dot leader line. So you can go through and check and make a change if you need to. Everything's good, so I'm going to say OK. And now if you look at my ruler, you can see a left tab, it looks like an L. You can see a center tab, it looks like an upside down T. You can see a right tab, it looks like a backward L. And you can see a decimal tab, upside down T with a little dot. And you can see the bar tab. And the current line that my cursor is on, you can see the bar tab has been added on that line. The bar tab just adds a bar at that position. So now I am going to press my tab key on my keyboard to come over here. And you can see I am just duplicating what I have below, press my tab key, that tabs me to the next tab stop, which happens to be a center tab stop with the leader line. That's why you see the, the dots leading up to it. Press the tab key, and this time I'm over here at the five inch tab, which is right aligned, which means that all my text, the right uh, side of the text aligns always with the very right side aligned with that tab. I'll press my tab key again and then 
at my decimal tab, the decimal lines up with the tab. And what you need to know is that when you enter, the tabs are carried forward to the next line. And then you can continue typing. And that is the fastest way if you are given exact numbers to do this. There is another way that you can create tabs. But just a few reinforcements here. If you set tabs on one line, then press enter, the tabs get carried forward. If you do not want the tabs, just clear the formatting. The, the, the tabs will no longer be on this line. However, just know by default, even though they don't show, every half inch, if you press the tab key, you have actually like an invisible tab. As soon as you set a tab, I'm going to set a quick tab on here using this tab selector over here, which is the second method. As soon as I, so I'm going to back up here, and as soon as I set a tab using the ruler, which I can do just by clicking right here, as soon as you do that, when you press the tab key, you're not going to get every half inch. It's going to go straight to the one that you just made. If you don't make any other ones, then it switches back to the half inch default. Okay, so the tabs carry forward. Use the clear formatting icon to clear the tabs and start on a new line if you don't want them. And if you need to edit your tabs, this is the big thing. If you need to edit these tabs, what students do is they forget to select all the lines that they want to impact. So I can move this tab here. But do you see that I just didn't move this part of my table or of my uh, document? So don't forget to select all the lines that you want to change before you do any moving around up here. OK, so this next list, if I had to do something like this and I'm in a hurry, I'm going to, you can see I have no tab set, but I can see that this first entry is tabbed in. So I need a tab around here. And the way it looks right now, a left tab will do. So if I'm doing this by eye, I can just do this. Just know that if you come into the paragraph tab settings, it's not always easy to click on a round number. See, I have 0.63, which is fine for me. But in an assignment, if it was 0.5 or 0.6, make sure you get it exact. OK, so I've set the first left tab here. And I'm going to set another one here, because left will suffice. Then I'm going to set a decimal tab. So I need to click on this tab selector until I find it. And there it is. I'm going to set it right here, because I want to match. I'm just matching up this one. Now this one, I'm going to make it a right. So I'm going to click the selector until I get the right tab, and I'll set it here. OK, and then you would start typing. So, I'm, Well, first tab to the first one. And then you would put in your name. You'd put in your address. And so these are like the headings. And then you would go ahead and start typing your entries here. OK, I'm just going to get two lines just to make it fast here. And here's what happens. After you get in what you'd like, you can see that you might not be happy where this word lines up over this chart. Uh, but as long as you keep making entries and you press the Enter key, you get the tabs you need. So just adjust it at the end. And you can you don't have to click the insertion point on this word. <coughs> Excuse me. 
you can be anywhere on this first line and move this one and it will only impact the word that was tabbed over to this tab stop and that way you can center it same with telephone as long as you're somewhere on this line and you move this it will only impact the word on that line just notice that you can no longer now go and select them all some of them are grayed out because you changed them on line one but if you selected just these two lines you can see you have access to all of them and maybe you know you wanted to make, shorten this up so this when you move this one it will impact the text on two lines so the best strategies are if you're given the values it's just easier to be very methodical using the launcher type first set the alignment set the leader set type the next one set the alignment set the leader set when you've done them all just be very methodical working down when you've set them all click OK if you're doing it by eye you can do it much well you can do it like I showed you just set them up using the tab selector on the ruler and go from there don't forget to clear them when you finish and maybe you need a different kind of chart don't forget uh, that your clear formatting takes them all away